<laughs> okay, look at this rest of Y'all, your girl is back with another video. Let me do that because no. What's up, y'all? It's your girl Jezza Air, and I'm back with another YouTube video. Oh, okay, I can't do it now. But today, I am going to be giving y'all the top 10 Netflix suggestions, some movies or TV shows that I think y'all should watch um uh, there's I have a little list of 10 of them um there's maybe like maybe two or three of them that I never watched but I was looking at them and I was thinking yeah you know me and y'all should both watch it or whatever so um that's today's video <coughs> I can't film a YouTube intro for nothing and we're gonna go and straight into the video Okay, y'all, so the first Netflix suggestion that I got for y'all um, tonight, because I am filming this at night, um, is On My Block. Y'all, I used to love this show so much. Like, it's actually one of my favorite um, Netflix shows, but I'm going to just say the description for every show or suggestion that I on my list that I got for y'all. So, it basically says, as the first day of high school approaches, Montse returns from writing camp to find that Ruby and Jamar are the outs with Spencer. Um, I kind of forgot like what happened in the show because it's been a little minute since I finished like watching it. So um, y'all could just like you know check out the trailer and just get a little you know just to see what it's about. But y'all should definitely watch that show. That show is really good. The next show, which is everybody's favorite show on Netflix, which is Stranger Things. Um, a lot of things happen in, like, in each season, so, like, I really can't really describe it because, like, it's a lot going on, like, in each specific season or whatever. But the description on Netflix does says, with selfless hearts and a clash of metal, Heroes fight from e from every corner of the battlefield to save Hawkins and the world itself. So that's what it says um, for the description. I'm pretty sure this is not really a suggestion. Everybody on this whole entire world watches All Stranger Things, and it's really like one of the best shows on Netflix. So yeah. The next one is called A Love A Love Song from. Letitia, I think that's how you say it. I'm sorry if I'm saying it wrong. But y'all, I actually um, watched this today. It's basically about a 15-year-old girl who got shot by um, a store manager, which she was Korean because she thought that she was stealing um, a bottle of orange juice. Mike, for real. But yeah, the description says the killing of Letitia, I don't know how to say her last name, become a flashpoint for the 1992 LA up uprising. The documentary explores the 15 year old's life and dreams. Oh boy, I dropped my phone. So it's actually um, 19 minutes long. It's really not, it's not a series like a movie, but I think y'all should really watch that and since it's Black History Month. The next one is called The Good Nurse, and I started watching the first episode a little bit. I really didn't get into it that much uh, for some reason, but the description says, an ICU nurse doesn't want to believe her, her kind new psychology and friend could be killing his patients, but she'll risk her life to uncover the truth. Um, I started watching, like I said, I started watching the first episode a little bit, and the lady's friend, like, he's kind of weird. Like, I like, I think, like, the beginning of the first episode, okay, let me stretch, because I'm not supposed to be telling y'all. But, yeah, I think 
I watched a little bit of it and I think it's kind of a good show. So y'all should go watch that. Next one is called Devil in Ohio. Y'all, this y'all, this show is so good. Like, it's kind of weird. It's not really weird. But um yeah, this y'all, I was really obsessed with this show. But um The Devil in Ohio, it's the description says after a teen girl with a strange wound is found in something county ohio she is taken to the hospital in a nearby town and put in dr suzanne something's care but um the girl she's from a cult she was trying to escape from a cult because i guess you know they was treating her real bad so you know she tried to escape and all that good stuff and you know Suzanne the doctor or whatever was you know taking care of her for, for a few days she actually brought her to her home and you know she had stayed over at this place for a little while but y'all should really go watch that show that show is good I got think it's some good stuff <laughs> okay y'all so the next one is actually a movie it's called The Package and it says after their buddy suffers an unfortunate accident during spring break. Four pals risk everything, including their dignity, to make him whole again. So, I'm gonna give y'all a little rundown about what it's about, even though I just said what the movie is um, about or whatever. So, it's about um, these four friends or whatever. They go like on a little camping trip and one of the um, friends, which is a guy, he actually, he accidentally cut his off. And you know, they had to, you know, rush it to like try to find where he's at, like which hospital he was at. So the nurses could do surgery to put his, well, attach his back onto him. So, I mean, that's kind of really what I remember from the movie because I watched this movie like a while back, but yeah. Okay, the next one is a movie also. It's called Eli, and I think um, I actually picked this movie out to watch it with somebody, and I think this is a really good movie. It's kind of like a scary movie, but yeah, but it don't really give me a good description on it on Netflix, so I took a screenshot. Um, I had searched it up, but it says a boy becomes trapped in a haunted house while undergoing a mysterious doctor's miraculous treatment for a rare disease. So basically, the boy could, like, the boy he can't go outside or whatever, like, he has to be, like, covered up, like, he had to be in this little suit. So uh, his parents, have found like this doctor that could like I guess cure him so you know he wouldn't have to worry about that anymore and it kind of turns into something else so that's all I'm gonna tell y'all okay the next one is called New Amsterdam um, I think that's how you say it I don't it don't really give me a good description on Netflix but I'm gonna just read what it says it says Ryan Eagle, the blacklist stars as Dr. Max Goodwin in a medical drama based on the book 12 Patients, Life and Death at, I don't know how to pronounce it, something hospital. Um, I can't really say too much about that because I really don't know what that is about. I just saw on Netflix and thought it was, you know, I guess it was a cool show or whatever. So y'all should go check that and watch that out. The next one is actually one that I started watching today. It's called Unsolved. It's basically about detectives trying to figure out the case of Tupac and Biggie Smalls. So, I mean, there's really not too much to say about that because basically the whole thing is where detectives trying to figure out like how both of them got shot because I think both of them got shot while they was in the car I think but I'm gonna say the description for y'all it says in 1997 suspecting 
the deaths of Biggie and Tupac are related. Poole and Miller speak to a witness in Vegas in 2016. I don't know how to say it, something. Leadership is questioned. So, yeah, not too much. Well, not. I don't have to do so much explaining on that, but, you know. And the last one is probably like one of my favorite shows on Netflix. Y'all sure already know the show from the original. It's called Fuller House. Y'all know Full House, Fuller House. But, um, yeah, it really gives, like, basic, it basically gives, like, an update of them, like, maybe, like, 25 years later. And, you know, DJ, y'all know DJ. She has two kids. Well, actually got three kids. And, you know, she's been struggling taking care of all three of them and then you know their dad passed away or whatever I'm not gonna say too much y'all know what it is but the description says when stephanie kimmy and dj have a girl oh no that is not what it says <laughs> but yeah y'all know what i'm what i'm trying to say about fuller house okay y'all those are all of the 10 suggestions that i have for y'all to watch on netflix um, I really hope I gave y'all some good ones that y'all probably want to be interested in like starting to watch. But if y'all do watch any of the, any of the suggestions that I gave y'all today, you know, let me down, let me know down in the description box below. But um, yep, that's the end of today's video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to your girl channel, and I'll see y'all in my next one. Peace. President.